Hello and welcome back to Garin River vs. Pacific Drive. I am here with Belka on this stormy, foggy, not stormy, just foggy night. Uh, we have a creepy message. Idea, kid show about anomalies. Uh, something that demystifies them, makes them friendly and approachable, uh, possibly to puppets. Do not mention the Mount Walker Massacre. Call me puppets. We don't talk about Mount Walker. Can anyone tell me why? Yes. Why don't we talk about Mount Walker? Because of the massacre. Yay. Yay. Oh, I have enough for the insulated jumpsuit. Yeah, okay. Didn't realize that. Nice. While these may look like the strangest, jankiest set of overalls, they're as conductive as they are cumbersome. They'll partially redirect electrical energy that would otherwise con uh, course straight through you. I think I need to go back to the Myers, so I'll go here, pass through this one to get to there. Oh, yeah, and that'll reveal a new location. Uh, angry abductors. Okay, great. Probably don't want to go there then. Oh, eerie darkness. Frickin' grand. Sorry, it took me a bloody moment to work out what this is. This is the, the high-tech uh, steering wheel. I'll go here rather than here because I don't want to deal with angry abductors. What are we dealing with? Only one orange. I'll check out this uh, station, science station, go to that one, go to that one. Uh, sorry, go to that one, then go to the orange and get out. Hey driver, Oh. sorry about all that mess with Oppie. Th th there's no question, Oppie is a, is a, a once-in-a-generation genius. I I've watched her manipulate wavelengths with nanometer precision without batting an eye. <laughs> so, yeah, to see her go from being the sharpest person in the room to what she is now is disappointing. Wow. This place, it leeches away your sanity day by day. So for, for Oppie to live here in complete isolation, locked away with only bad memories and expired medication, nothing good comes of that. Ah! I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I knew <sighs> why she suddenly cares so much about the remnants. Jesus. Was he always there? Didn't bloody see him. Bloody hell. God, that's the first time I found one inside a building. Uh, right, sorry, I missed the end of what they were saying. Something about her and the remnants, which I think is important. So I'm just gonna have a quickly, I'm quickly gonna have another look at that. I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I knew why she suddenly cares so much about the remnants, because it's made it clear that the remnants are connected to the hallucination, and the hallucination is almost certainly. I just turned that back on. Almost certainly connected to her totally dead husband, who may or may not be Cappy. So, given... Why is that still glowing? I thought I emptied that. Oh, no, no, there was a pry bar in there. Um, ah! Speaking of RP, you're not going to like this, Francis, but I'm starting to think we can't do this alone. Look, what the fuck it, was that noise? It's not that I doubt our abilities, but no one knows the zone like that old bat. You heard what she said. She'll sabotage this remnant before helping us. Right. Well, she'll come around to our charms. No, she won't. Nothing in the 13 years we spent in R&D proof that she's open to working with anyone. She dug her heels in so deep that she wrestled everyone down into the grave with her. I... I can't be involved if she is. Wow. What are you talking about? This is the entire reason we stayed behind. To write the record of the zone. Not about the experiments and the technology, but to tell the legends of the land. I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't want to talk to her. I, I don't want her advice. I, I, I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. This isn't like you. What's going on, Francis? Is there something I should know? No. All your work and limb R&D, all the time you spent, your entire career, your entire life. You sacrificed it all for Arda, and how did they thank you? With a black hole on your resume, where you can't tell anyone what you did. You couldn't even tell people where you wiped your ass for ten years. So no, I I'm not letting this go. Not for me, but especially not for you. That, 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 that's not... 
Never mind. You know, sometimes I wonder how much of you staying here was actually to hunt these legends. Or if it was because you had nowhere else to go. I don't really get their characterization now, because this seems like out of absolutely left field. Them suddenly go, like Francis, who was always the voice of reason, suddenly going, no, 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 I can't, there's no way I could possibly work with her, she's impossible to work with, I can't stand her, I've always hated her, she's always been awful and terrible, and I've always hated her, and, and now I'm glad she's not speaking to us, and I never want to hear from her again. It's just, where the hell did that come from? Like... I don't think there was any hint of that. I'm uh, all right. I'm gonna have a quick look through the old logs and see if there's any hint of that in anything previously said, because I don't think there was. Right, I have gone through all of the transmissions and all of the records I've received to try and work at a timeline, uh, because I was I've talked before about how it feels like there are inconsistencies, and so far nothing I have is inconsistent. I will need to find like in-game things like the billboards and stuff that have dates, but it seems the mass hallucination was definitively on the 14th of September 1961, and it has been 40 years since that. I'm sure, I'm certain, I've seen something say it's been 30 years since something, but it's been 20 years since the remnants, uh, which first appeared in 64, but haven't been seen in 20 years, so they could have continued for another 20 years after that point. But, um, yeah, specifically, 65 is when, like, Lim went MIA in the public record. But so far, no, no information I have is actually contradictory. So I will keep an eye on this. I've got it on a notepad. And I'm going to keep this to hand. And I will update it if I find any other information. Where was I? Oh, hello, Taurus. Cool. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. There are numerous of you. Are you active? There's tourists over there as well. Doesn't seem like you guys are. Okie dokie. Uh, crude doors, turns out, not worth anything. Powered by carbs. I think I'm going to start being very careful about what I nick, because I don't... Oh, there's a transfer materials. Oh, wow, there's a quick loot button. T is a quick loot button. I had no idea. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start leaving decals that I'm not interested in. Paint, I'll nick. But decals are not inherently useful. Uh, mysterious bread was baked in 1955. Oh yeah, there's like these as well. Uh, yeah, there is not a single speck of mould. Can you guys go for that so I can maybe get some? Oh, there are loads of you over there. Uh, if, if you could go for that as well. You guys... I mean, one of you's vanished. There was definitely one next to that barrel. They're clustering as they sh Oh my god. Any minute, guys. Thank you. Any loot? Whoa! What happened? Uh, I saw you move. Ah, hello. Yeah, there is a... There is a tree through that car. Hey, Belka. I think I'm going to save the remainder of my space for uh, really valuable things. I don't think I'm that short on plasma at the moment, so I'm just going to ignore it. Oh, that's a wriggler. Damn it! Ah! Yeah, I've gone the wrong way as well. Uh, Lim Fair, 1973. Making note. Meaning that that is a private affair entirely in-house. Because... Lim technology was out of the public perception in 1955, so 20 years later they're doing a fair, apparently for their own employees only. I'll take the orange, uh, because oranges... Oh, hello! Oranges are useful! Okay, there are a lot of you. Oh, there are more of you. Grand. Oh, gr goody, goody. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Uh, this one. I'll just chuck a flare over there. And could I just sort of chuck a flare over there? Oh, whoops! That was a little bit too close. Oh, one. Wonderful! Thermo sap, good. Right, I think... I 
think I'm going to put this as number five because I use these more than I use the flare gun. Maybe there's a way to farm Thermosap. I can't imagine that I do have to just murder a load of tourists. I suppose I've got to murder or break um, spark towers to get uh, plasma, but that feels different, you know? Ooh, dumpster poil. Money wizard. Load of paint. Uh, play the game, Gary. Play the game, Gary. Okay, weird. Oh, yeah, look, that works for quick transference um, into stuff as well. That has revolutionized this game. Anomaly Studies 3. Apparently that's a new one. Cited consistently between 1959 and early 1961. Uh, yeah, that fits timelines. This anomaly was attracted to any transmitters broadcasting a particular short wave bands. About the size of a bird, roughly spherical, crow-like, uh, and able to fly through a no means, this anomaly would latch itself to a broadcast antenna and begin to dissolve or perhaps consume the metal. Stubborn and difficult to dislodge, this anomaly began to disappear when we began to use different frequencies. Interesting. One of my tires has popped. A uh, loose mechanics kit. I apparently do not have a mechanics kit with me, so I will have to make one. Luckily, they are cheap. Sorry, I didn't put the spanner away properly. If you don't put the spanner away after fixing something, it doesn't count as fixed. Everyone knows that. On to the next location. Perpetual stability. Very little. But one unrecognized thing. The electrical building. Okay, I'll try and find that. It's an artist site. Loads of science buildings. Loads of science buildings because it's an artist site. Makes sense. And radiation shielding. Oh yeah, because my uh, hydro generator, the rain is just refilling my battery. That was such a good investment. Let's try out my torch. Ha ha! I swear the spooky noises are on the rise. Ah! Where did that come from? What is that? Repair putty. Yeah, that got thrown at me by something. Something that is not here. I assume it's tourist outside. Th thank you. Wall hack tourist. Oh, there's more up there. I guess they threw more of it and some of it landed inside the wall. Cool. Brilliant. Yeah, I can't reach that. That's literally inside the wall. Good. Good going, guys. Your magic reality bending powers never cease to amaze. The one downside with the torch is that it disguises the fact that these things glow. Like, it's the same colour glow as the, hey, there's loot here. So it, it makes it actually harder to loot in some ways. God, being able to just quickly transfer stuff is game-changing. Like, it just makes looting so much quicker. It always took me bloody ages, but now... Now it does not. Let's grab this and go. Arc Dock. I still don't know what the Arc Dock does. I also can't get in because the door is blocked by a tree. Thank you. What's up with you? Nope. No. Nope. No. Stop that. Press the wrong button. Seal you. And I think it's about time we headed on. I've almost full up. Oh. I'm almost full up on stuff. Why are you drifting? Why are you drifting? Why are you drifting to the right, Belka? I'm not doing that. Belka. Belka? Oh, bloody back left tires, back right tires gone now. No. Oh, it's completely flat. 
Ceiling kit. Oh, come on. Yeah, these tires, they're not doing well. However good condition you keep stuff, eventually they do degrade. That's what I said, so I think that's what's happening. Oh, you stop drifting now, Belka. Thank you. No, 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 no. Ah! I didn't... See, there was another pop-up message. Ah! Hit a left right and that bloody took over. You okay, Belka? You seem a bit electrically... Oh, Belka. You okay? Uh, see? Charged. Full of juice. The recent arc discharge or blast of electricity has filled this with a hair bristling amount of energy. It'll discharge itself, but don't get it wet. Oh, okay. I've ca I occasionally see that with the lights. And I thought that was just because they were lights, but no, it seems that is just the thing that happens to them. Oh, actually, I will refuel here while I can. Oh god, I wonder what that bloody noise was. Amazing, thank you. QWERTY, so it's a keyboard. Light replacement kit, that's rare. I don't know, why am I taking all this stuff? I don't need it. I don't have room for it. Got a load of new bloody paints. Gold paint. Last orange. And I think this is the last orange on this run. Because the other ones are blood oranges. Something is getting louder. It's a crawler. Oh. Oh no, I hit... Oh, damn. Sorry, Belka. They hit the airstrip. Barely, but you don't need to hit it much, apparently. And on to the Myers. The... Uh, there's one unseen thing. Salamander Grotto... Neon Reef. They're the two things I need, and the anchors. And it's going to be bloody dark. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, God, I hate these places. Right, what am I looking at here? Yeah, I know, darkness. All right, so I'm just here for the oranges. Oh, and the listening box. And then the, uh, the salamat. What was that? nothing. Uh, and then the salamanders, the neon reef, the blood oranges, and the audio box. Oh, there are just red lights in the distance. That's horrible. Oh, hello. Hi, guys. So, so weird noise to my right. What is that? Oh, that'll be the new thing. Oh, don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Um, five. Go that way. Ooh! Anomaly, C. Rotten egg. Uh, transmission fragment. Jim, I'm on my wit's end here. Uh, the guys you're giving me are stupid. They're idiots. 23 years in the army, and I swear to God, they're at our. Uh, we're at our lowest point. Now, you listen to me. They cannot be out here touching everything they come across. New rule, assume everything is acid. Everything. Oh, is that right? You think I haven't heard that word before? Listen, my first deployment was Italy. I was fighting hand-to-hand -hand in Monte Cassino, uh, Monte Cassino a week after I arrived. You know where I was before that? I was in a goddamn camp in McNeil. Guys like you shipped me and my family to a camp in Washington because you thought we would turn against our own damn country. 23 years and I'm not going to die in this stupid state because of some pimple private who doesn't listen because you are not briefing your soldiers. Now you sort this out and sort it out today or I take this all the way to the top. And if you think men who look like me don't complain, I'll show you just how far this can go. One of us is a bronze star and one of us is a plywood desk. Sort out your battalion and don't you ever, ever dare question my loyalty to the service of this country ever again. Okie dokie. Qwerty. Okay, not what I expect that to look like. Well. They throw giant blobs of acid that explode. Wonderful. I'm gonna get in the car.
Oh, goody, a theft. -er. Wonderful. Oh, wow, no, that thing is big. And right next to the blood orange I need. And the theft -er is right there. Okie dokie. Oh, that's something else. Belching barnacle. Uh, Alright people, first of all we have to stop calling these things geysers. A geyser launches a jet of water, not gas. These things are blasting warm air and whatever goo this is. Got that? Have you got that? Second, whatever you do, do not try and enter one. These things go deep. Turns out the zone isn't just wrecking things above ground. And these are some kind of thin fissure resulting from the Earth's crust being scrambled up. They're blasting jets of warm water from as far down as the mantle. Third, these might not be entirely bad news. We think they're acting almost like a valve that prevents greater pressure from building. This might be why the geological activity we expect in the Pacific Northwest has decreased. We hope to know more soon. In the meantime, not geysers, okay? Stop calling them geysers. Please. Uh, what did you say over there? Oh, sure, sure, they look like that. Call them particles, whatever. Oh. So I take it, yeah, so it's, oh, how dare you? Right, I'm gonna have to get out of here. <laughs> All right. Come on, Blood Orange. Into the car with you. Where am I going next? Backwards. Ah! <laughs> Where's my car? Why is my car 200 meters that way? Ah! I got out to try this and then my car freaking flew away into nothing. Belka? Belka? I don't like that you're red and there's a flashing warning light. Is that because you're so far away? Belka? Very dark out here, Belka. I don't... I don't like this. If I encounter any thefters, I am screwed. Belka. Belka, please. Please, Belka, come back to me. Belka. Belka, no. Don't leave me alone out here, Belka. Where are you? Another 40 meters this way. Oh, there you are, Belka. You landed on your feet, so that's a plus. You okay? No. You are very much not okay. Oh goody, you're missing a freaking door, Belka. Where did that land, one might wonder. Who knows? Who knows? Wonderful. Cool. We are in a very bad position here, Belka. Two tyres have popped and most of your armour is gone and the door is gone. Well... This place is awful. I don't have... Two ceiling kits. So... I have good news and bad news, Belka. I can fix one of your problems. But I most distinctly cannot fix the other. What is... What's this one? There's a thing on this. Worn. It's worn... A loose cover and a tiny terror conspiring to make it as unreliable place. Ah! Frickin... Magic. Wonderful space magic stuff. Cool. An unreliable place to keep my stuff. That's exactly what I want in a container. Oh, Belka, you're struggling hard here. Right. Might be an idea to bug out. There's another blood orange right nearby, and then I'll activate that, and we'll get out of here, because Belka, you are in such a bad state. Also, I'm going to die from radiation next time we go into a radiation area. Oh, Belka, I'm so sorry this happened. All because I wanted to get that bloody pneumatic. I'm, I, oh, I appreciate that you still love me. That helps. I don't know why you flew away, Belka. I really don't. This place is awful. All right, we're gonna get this.
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Everything is awful. The world is ending and I can feel it all around me. Ooh. Oh goody. A door's compromised and another uh, wheel is compromised. Tell me we have a door. A steel door. Yes. Yes, Belka. It's terrible, but it's better than nothing. God, that's so bloody spooky. So that's what it's supposed to look like if the exposure was better. And that's what I've got. <laughs> look at that difference. Oh no. Okay, and the, the boot is not opening properly. Weird wagon. I see. Not to be confused with any machines of mystery. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Desperately. Bloody desperately. Let's go home, Belka. Quick as we bloody can. Away from the doom. As it tries to claim us. I hear those tires struggling on the dirt. I spent way too long getting here. And then ended up leaving immediately. Because I got cocky, thinking, ah, oh, now I don't need to worry about this giant acid spewing thing. Why would I? That's weird and crazy. Oh, Belka. I haven't even seen any of the things I was here to collect. Oh, goody, a, a, just a tiny bridge is completely submerged. Very helpful. Oh, goody. Oh, no! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no! This is bad. I might die. But at least I've still got Belka. Let us go. Drive into the doom. Of which I'm getting a photo because that is pretty amazing. <laughs> In, in we go, Belka. I have no windscreen anymore. Oh. Oh, Belka, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You seen these ratings, Francis? Gateway opens like blah, 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 and the car goes pow. Sensors go. Blah, 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 blah. The the Would you shut up? Party, Thank you. Oh my god. Belka, I'm so sorry. God, that acid messed us up. But like, we were really damaged before that because of uh, I ran through a couple of electrics and then I got zapped. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Belka. Creepy message. Automated status report. Multiple scan attempts rejected from source. Uh, cool. This is so much easier. Like, being able to just transfer. Like, I know I keep saying it, but I can't believe I didn't notice it. I, I swear I even checked for a button like that earlier and I didn't see one. But now that I found it, it makes loading and unloading so much quicker. Like that. See, normally I'd have had to gone through every single thing in every single container just to make sure everything was full, but I, just, I don't need to do that now. Do I get anything for putting in these decals? I actually do. Oh, okay. All right, sadly, it seems the side storage, even at full health, isn't going to stay repaired, so I'm going to have to get a new one. I reckon I need a full set of new wheels because they, they I think they're just going to keep breaking, so... Can I unlock better wheels? At the moment I've just got like off-road ones. Let's have a look. I cannot. I need uh, advanced workbench for all of them. Advanced workbench I can actually get. Okay. 
Sure. Look at that, a core thing being improved. It's big. Oh, it's like got the fabricator thing above, that's cool. So I can now get puncture-proof tyres. That's relatively cheap. Could a tyre be truly puncture-proof? This dramatically reimagined example uses a segmented and completely airless design to make flats a thing of the past. You can also get insulated headlamps. Oop. Sometimes you just need a cute little Faraday cage for your headlights, augmented by some limb-assisted plasma dispersal. Keep those beams blasting in spite of electrical discharge. And the last thing is a solar panel. Solar panel is nothing new but a solar-powered car, it could happen. Certainly a solar-powered car battery is no fancy. Install this one and feel better about your emissions. Oh, DIY expert, unlock quite a few things in the fabrication station. Oh, I need thermosap crystals for that. I'm sort of saving those to improve my engine. I need 42. <laughs> and I, I'm most of the way there. I'll just go with off-road tyres because they're cheap. Then again, I'm almost out of rubber. I'm basically out of rubber now. Oh no. That's one way to get more rubber, I guess. Still low on it, but nowhere near as low as I was just now. Anything to add, friendly? I guess not. Let's try QWERTY as my bobble. Uh, money wizard, though I really feel like I'm not going to like it. High tech steering wheel was alright, I'll try the go-kart. I guess I'll have some wobbly toast. And I have so much paint, I want to try something new, so let's try some red. Uh, uh not sure I like it. Because what I'm thinking, you see, is I'm going to start just ditching colours that I'm not going to use. Ah, yeah, I don't like the red. Because I've got such limited space, I need to be more discerning with my eye. What do I get from paint? Oh, I actually get some chemicals. Nice. Okay, let's try the blue instead. I mean, it's alright. It's a bit of a dark blue. I prefer a brighter blue, personally. Goes all right with the flames, actually. All things considered, Belk is in a pretty good state. What's that? That's the hydro generator. Uh, that's okay for now. Where are we headed next? Probably up to here. Check out the Scorch. And Tell me it's not eerie. Turncoat. Turncoat. My car can betray me. Is that what you're telling me, game? My car will be able to betray me. Frickin' grand. What's beyond that? Acid devours fuel. Well, I mean, in my experience, acid devours bloody everything, so... Yeah, alright. Anyway, I'll deal with that next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with a more Pacific Drive soon. This, this is a weird toast. Yeah, I think I prefer the, uh, the raspberry. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. Subscribe for more Pacific Drive. Belker and I'll be back soon, and I will catch... You later.